Hello gamers, it is I, your friendly neighbourhood fishy, here to talk to you about the milk sock. How's it going on this fine day? How are we all doing? Everything appears to be fine, am I right? It should be anyway. I should be all dandy and good. Um, we should all be audible and all that stuff. It's good to see everybody in the chat, I guess. Uh, I guess I sound like the most unenthusiastic guy ever. But, oh my god, I can't see it on here. Window capture. Where is it? Where has it gone? Where's window capture gone? Oh dear, it's not even on here. Right, okay, what I need to do is I need to close it, and then I need to close that, and I need to reopen it. <sighs> Fucking bastard. Hate it when it does that. I had it set up before, and now it's just gone. Why is it gone? Why, why has it gone? There we go, that's better. Now I just enter full screen, and the hot, we hide the sidebar. And that should hide the sidebar. I don't know why it's not doing that. Let us hide the sidebar, please. There we go. Right, here we are playing Assassin's Creed Unity. The Assassin's Creed game that... that I, I, ah, look at all these people. My favourite people. That man was up there for a moment. Now he's gone. But it's fine. Don't worry. Can we do that chest, I wonder? I do worry. I reckon we can't, but we'll find out soon enough, won't we? I need to get that we can do it. There we go. That's two more guys dead and dealt with. This box is mine. Allow me the box. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? What the fuck? Come on! How hard is it? I'll say Unity's parkour is horribly satisfying. The lock picking system, on the other hand, as fine as it is, isn't. Oh my days. How is that so difficult? James Rostron, cheers for the super chat. I really do appreciate it. Lock picking. Like, it's it it's fine, but I clearly got the timing right because it was always in the correct place. On PC that would have worked perfectly. But cheer, but cheers good old James Rostron for being a generous man. And let's open this box and get some bits and pieces out of it. Now I hate the lock picking these games. I don't like um most games lock picking mechanics. My favourite lock picking mechanic of the lot is uh is Skyrim's. My least has to be like Oblivion's, because oh my days. Sometimes the lock Well, okay, I just stabbed the wall and the man died, but that's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Can you shout me out, please? I can barely read your name because I'm going to be honest, I've had a few to drink. <laughs> um, Lewis Hughes. Cheers, man. How you doing, Lewis? Having a good day? Uh, hang on, let's read your name. Red Well Wolfair. Wolfair? Wolfia. Okay. I've been recording a lot of The Witcher 3 today, by the way, guys. Um, I'm up to Novigrad now. We're in Novigrad. We're making progress. We'll get it done, but I'll get it, I'll get my, my playthrough done, like, recording all that by the 19th, well before the 19th, I think. So I'll have, so I'll be able to do my, um, my little video on it that will obviously be completely forgotten about after James's goes up, but whatever. I can have an hour of fame. Um... Stabbing the wall results in human death. That is that is what I thought as well. I can't wait for someone to come in a backseat game and be like, do the fucking story. Asshole. Cigarette chair. I guess since everyone wants to chip in, I will too, lol. I really do appreciate it, cigarette chair. You're absolute legend. Um, I, I really do. Like, you guys' generosity blows me away on a daily basis. It truly does. And... It's especially humbling since I just don't deserve the kindness. All I do is sit here and play games. Apparently October 16th is the release date. Release date for what? Uh, are we talking Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Why are you not playing the story? Worst content ever. Oh no. I hope you're joking. I can't tell. I just hope you know that. Just doing a bits of gaming for now. I assume you're joking because come on, of course you are. Because you you, you know the joke. Ah shit! It's a three star thing. 
Is it three? Oh, yes, I can. Chicken Bear, enough said. Cheers, Mario, for your super chat donation and reminding me about the about the beautiful Chicken Bear. Listen, Chicken Bear is the closest thing I've ever had to a girlfriend, so come on. <laughs> that might just be the single most depressing thing I've ever said. I hope it's not true, but then again, I can't remember right now. <laughs> And then click that idea. Fortnite Assassin's Creed Valhalla event now. Yeah, no, I don't do clickbait, or at least I try not to. I try to make att attractive titles and thumbnails, sure, but I don't try to mislead people. I feel like I feel like that's the line. Like clickbait in itself. I think people misunderstand what clickbait is. Like a lot of people assume it's that being clickbait and being misleading is the same thing. And sure, to a degree, clickbait is annoying. It's where you clearly over oversell things, but a lot of content creators blatantly mislead their audiences, and that's more than clickbait. You're right there, Sunshine. Did you need me to stab your mate for you to figure out what the fuck was going on? Is that what was going on? Will you be getting a PS5? I think so. Is it just me, or does Unity... Defi Define and law... Does Unity have... Unity has its own laws of gravity, yeah. Unity does not adhere to physics. Look at this man's corpse. I'm not sure which side his head's on. Oh, now I know. It's slowly dug into his arm. Ezio skin in Fortnite. I love shooting someone with a tomato on his head as Ezio and doing Fortnite dance. Oh my god. I would be really disappointed in Ubisoft if one day they thought, we're doing a collaboration with Fortnite. I mean, I wouldn't care. I will be honest. I don't care. But also... Like, please, don't. Don't do that. It would feel kind of underwhelming. So I can't spell worth nothing. That's okay. That's fine. There's no worries. If, if everyone could leave a like on the stream, share your friends and hit subscribe if you knew. That, that, that's, that's, all the, that's all the cool bits that you need to be doing. I think we'll do some of these um, as we go as well because we'll get the money from them. If we get money from these things, then we can use it to upgrade gear, which is important to the main story. See, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to support like a power level thing, which is more akin to what Unity here does. Which is curious. I reckon that that could be pretty good, to be fair. But I think, I think it'll be a good way to get rid of that steep leveling curve and make us only do side content that we want to do. While at the same time, making it so that you at least get introduced to it and you do enough of it. In a, in a sense that they don't want the story to be linear, but the, I feel like it's a bit more relaxing and a whole lot less just numbers. And I like that about power level as opposed to that, which is what Unity does. So, good old, good old gaming. Why not? Okay. <laughs> Captain Clown. I love just running through buildings and doing that. Now where's the next one? Let's do a few of these cuz I mean, come on. Might as well. We have we ha like we have all of lockdown and beyond. Listen, we have nothing but time. <laughs> and this is easy enough to uh, get stuff and then we can purchase gear. It's my logic. If we get enough of it, we can get good gear and we can go from there. How are the gamers in? Can you make Walkthrough of Jedi Fallen Order, please? Don't worry, that'll be after I've done the Frozen Wilds for Horizon Zero Dawn, maybe. I think it'll either be then or when I'm done with Assassin's Creed. It's one of the two. Like, just know that it'll just know that it'll be soon enough. You know what I mean? Steal from the target. Oh shit. Nobody steals from my target. It says steal from the target and I got money from it. But from it but I still killed the target, so what's the point? What are the Mostly like murder mysteries and shit. Nefarious purposes. Assassinate your target. Let's go let's go assassinate a target. In two days I went from one diamond to five diamonds with fully upgraded gear and it's mad. See, it's not that hard to rank up in Unity. 
Now, one of the things that pisses me off about a linear numerical leveling system, like in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, or even The Witcher 3, um, is a lot of the time it forces, it says, you cannot equip this gear, for it is too high a level for you. Which is a way of trying to keep the game balanced, but for the way I see it, that makes no sense. Have you ever walked into a shop and it's t and, and someone's told you you're not high enough level to wear these shoes? No, you haven't. Unless you live in a really weird place. And then you probably have. You're not high enough level for this. My point here being... I like restrictions that make sense. It's like how in this game stabbing people while they're on the ground is a... It's a skill thing, and I go, what? It's fine. Don't worry. He's only he's only dead temporarily. Not high enough swag. You don't have enough clout. This 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 is not for you. Nobody's gonna. I'm sorry, sir. Y you lack the. You lack the, the fashionable skill to don my 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 high my my, my high quality jeans. I don't know, man. Like it's so, it's so odd. It is just odd. Mission pass respect. Uh, it's a thing that's in a lot of games, though. That it's not just a thing with Assassin's Creed Odyssey that bothers me. It bothers me in every game it's in. The Witcher Three, Horizon Zero Dawn has it with some weapons. To be fair, and I go, what? Why is that a thing? And I'm like, yeah, great. I hate how restrictive Syndicate is. You're not the only one. Like, I absolutely bloody despise how restrictive Syndicate is. If I want to jump to my death, let me jump to my death. The only way to jump to your death in Assassin's Creed Syndicate is to use the zipline and to drop from the zipline halfway across a massive gap. Trust me. It's, death's embrace has never felt so bittersweet. And I would know that because I'm always at death's door. Right. Now, here we are. Are you high enough level to be born? Level 9 month. Level 90 week. I don't know how long nine months is. It's not 90 weeks. That's that's closer to two years than nine months. But you get my point. Nine months is more like 40 weeks. I, I'm just guessing off the top of my head here. Something like that. But you get my point. I don't understand in RPGs why there's a system that stops you from... Donning higher level gear because you're not that level. Like, you can't wear this because it would imbalance the game. But in reality, it makes no sense to have that restriction there. So that's why I kind of like prefer the power level idea for Valhalla, like Unity has, where you equip the gear and that influences your power. Jesus is my partner in crime. What crimes are you committing, Dragon Flame Gams? Thanks for the super chat, though. I really do appreciate it. Defend your ally. Oh, no, not my ally. Oh, what a wounded disaster. Hello, gamers. It is me. What? Well, where are you? You're there, are you? Get out of my way, ally. Bastard. Ah, my dad's in chat. How you doing, dad? Life treating you good? I've been drinking good old San Miguel on this fine evening. It's been beautiful. It's been a it's been a good good couple of boozes. I think the reason why we can't equip higher level gear is because it's way too heavy. That's not a thing though, because the thing is, some of it is li like light armor. Like in The Witcher, for example, not 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 The Witcher, sorry, but in some games it's like light armor, or it's a light weapon, and it being far too heavy doesn't make any sense anyway. When your character's already a really fucking strong behemoth. It's just a case of... It's just... There's no logic... There's no reason in trying to explain it. Because it doesn't actually make sense when you realise... That it could just be a higher level version of gear that you already use. Right, cool.
Dylan Bryant, cheers to the super chat. Recently found you as a as a YouTuber, and gotta say you're outstanding. Keep up the great work, bro. Cheers, D Dylan. I really do appreciate it, man. I really appreciate the good old generosity shown there. I'm on a Bira Moretti. Uh, seven. Oh, Bira Moretti. That's what. Bira Moretti bot. What's a bot? Put a smoke bomb. Don't worry, I'm off. I don't need any of that backseat gaming shit. Isak Marnie, glitchy gaming. That's what we like. Uh, it's beautiful. There's another Donotion too. Let's have a look. Let's have a, let's have a look, see if, if we can get it. Ah, Nate Slade. I love you, bro. Keep up the streams and content. Cheers, Nate. Sorry, I didn't show it in where I could see. Cheers, guys. Che cheers to every, to all three of you. Um, it's a dark beer. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I'll have to give that a try. I mean, I drink me a bit of Bira Moretti, and that's still an object from your designated target. Thing is, though, you can just... Steal from the target and then kill the target. Bam. Sorry, those clowns had to die. I like me a good drink. Um, don't worry about me, son. I'm right here. Let me steal from you. Now I can just kill you. I, you don't even need to be alive. I love that. I love that you can just kill them. Makes no sense, but it's fine. Don't worry. Fishy will stream Doom Eternal again. I really should. I really did enjoy the couple of hours that I played of Doom Eternal. <sighs> Which parkour do you prefer for the next AC game? Uh, I like to see them sort of reinvent it in a sense that encapsulates the um, the player agency of the original four games one through revelations because you can combine movements and you can you can bail out movements at the right time so that it's not animation based it's not the prettiest ever but it is the fast it is quite fast and you can make it even faster and you can really sort of master it whereas with the others it's all animation based so it is what it is and i feel like that's kind of kind of a bit restrictive in itself from black flag onwards but that being said I think that as long as there is a decent, semi-decent parkour system like these games, there's at least better than in Odyssey where you can't even reach a beam when jumping, then it'll be fine. James Rostron, you absolute legend, man. I really do appreciate your generosity. You absolute G. I should play Smash Bros. I, don't... I should play Smash Bros. Wii. I don't know. Okay. Do you like R RPG and Assassin's Creed? I mean, we haven't had any decent examples yet. Well, I mean, we've had Origins and Connor's Master Assassin outfit. It's just a minute. It's just okay. No, I like I like Origins as Assassin's Creed. Sure, I like, but it had a gimmick of the Brotherhood isn't founded yet, and that's the whole point of the story. We haven't really seen Assassin's Creed at its. We haven't seen Assassin's Creed at its fundamentals in an RPG really yet properly. And then, of course, it wasn't really a full RPG. Odyssey was trying to be. And Odyssey is not an RPG, I'm sorry. Like it pretends to be. Odyssey pretends to be an RPG. But it's not actually an RPG. Because there's no there's no role-playing elements, is there? You're not immersed in the game. It's not immersive. So there's no immersion elements. You just have dialogue options running around this empty husk of a world. So we haven't actually seen a full Assassin's Creed RPG in its beautiful form anyway. And with Odyssey, it wouldn't have been that e ever, because it's just not. It's just not even got Assassin's or Templars or anything like that. Lil Tanuki Betch. Uh, thank you for the super chat, mate. I really do appreciate it. Let's go down here to that. I know, I know I'm just doing loads of mundane stuff for the time being, but I promise it's going to come in handy later. It's all part of the game. Leather ruined everything. That might be a little bit unfair on that. There, there are many factors. Layla's only one of them. To be honest, half of the problem with Layla is the fact that Origins makes Layla look... Sorry, Odyssey makes Layla look so ridiculous. Like, it's not... That being said, also, I'm not a big fan of Layla's... Where, where Layla's going. It doesn't make any sense. Well, one thing that really confused me is um, Layla killed a bunch of Abstergo agents as an assassin, as that's what she and and this Victoria, uh, this Victoria, uh, this Victoria lady comes along and goes, "You killed them. You didn't have to murder them. Uh, you're assassins. What? 
You're, you're, you're literally assassins. If you have a problem with killing people, why the fuck are you an assassin? It just really confused me. Uh, that was that that was that was where I began to realise that Assassin's Creed Odyssey's DLCs hurt my brain. If protagonist not have ponytail, I dislike. Um, Anna has a ponytail. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. He likes unicorns as well. It is important that we get all the viewpoints. The staff gave her STDs. Layla and the STD staff. It's my favourite Assassin's Creed. If if only. English, please. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking English. I don't, have you played Metal Gear Solid 5? I haven't. I look at Metal Gear Solid and I go, this is fucking weird. I mean, I played Metal Gear Solid 3, The Phantom Pain, and that's it. I think. Ubisoft Quebec should just not be involved with the AC story. I think they're involved with Assassin's Creed Valhalla as one of the 15 studios working on the game, but cheers Isak Manny for the super chat again. I really do appreciate it, man. This is the bus D. Let's go. I think it's the bus D. Anyway, it is the bus D. Which AC is your favourite? Ah, oh, I like me a bit of two. You know what? I'm just going to answer that this time. I'm in a good mood, I guess. See, when I'm in a bad mood, I realise how many times people have asked me that question. And then cry. Because that is who I am. I didn't even realise there was a gap there. I was just hoping. Slit throat. This was our cell. I don't even... Yes, it was a, It was the cell. Fishy, how do you make merch? I want to make merch too. Well, I just go through uh, Teespring. There are a couple. There's Spreadshirt, Teespring. I use Teespring because I can put it on videos and that. Um, but I've actually got a Spreadshirt page with all the merch on it, if you want to have a look at that. I mean, I'll just, I'll just put it up there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I was, um, okay, I was enjoying the As Always merch before, some good merch over there, but it's fine. Do you hope the con the combat is more like Unity or Origins in Valhalla? I hope it sort of, it needs to take from several different areas, the combat. Sure, like, I mean, it's hard, because see, Assassin's Creed... Valhalla's got to do some things, if you get me. Like, there's there, there are parts of, um... I, I feel like I'm going to struggle to articulate this point, so I'm going to try my best, but I'm sorry if it comes off a little bit odd. What I'm trying to say is, I feel like the combat has never really been nailed properly. Like, it's not... It's, it, it's not like it's suffering or anything silly like that. Like... I think, though, after Odyssey, it needs to be refreshed, it needs to be revamped. And with Vikings, it's going to be combat-focused, so they're going to try to do something new with it, logically. From a rational standpoint, that's what they're going to want to do. I think it's good at Stealth Metal Gear Solid Five. Classic gaming, my favourite thing to do in the week. Yeah, I had a get hey, have you ever been gaming while having a shit? It's, it's right... It's the perks of owning an old Nintendo DS or something. Or, or a Switch. Does anyone remember the DS days? Nobody talks about them anymore. Now this better not take the piss, otherwise I'm going to stab someone's granddad. Bastard. <laughs> Vikings be like raid and kill. That is my that is my concern as well. Vi Vikings be like raid and kill. Assassin's Creed Vikings be like raid and kill. Is my biggest worry. Now you know my biggest Assassin's Creed worry is Assassin's Creed Vikings be like raid and kill. 
Ah, oh, shit. It's not quite where I wanted to be. Do you think AC Valhalla is going to be good? Just based I think so. I mean, from the trailer, it doesn't tell you very much. We haven't seen gameplay. We've got a couple of days until we do. Just under now. Um, but I feel like from the standpoint of Ashraf Ismail, Darby McDevitt, understanding what it is to be Assassin's Creed, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of leeway there. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of there's, there's stuff that they can do. They, they know what they want, and they know that assa what Assassin's Creed means to a lot of people. And and they know that there's a quality bar that they need to hit, and they also need to know, they also know not to alienate anyone like old fans or newer players. And it's all good. It's all it's all fun and good. Um, cigarette chair. So, hearing that you can dual wield two shields of Valhalla, you're going to make a shields only Viking? Personally, it'll make for a hilarious video. I think I'm going to do it for a video. Like, I would just do it for a video, just have dual shield wielding viking going around. I'm going to call him Shield Boy. And he's going to go around knocking the daylights out of everyone. It's going to be beautiful. Um, Captain Cockblock has never felt like a more fitting name for a character. Okay, mate. Didn't even let me kill him. I'm not even going to try on that yet, but I mean, I could loot. Not my... If that gives me some lockpicks, we're in, we're in business. If not, we're not in business. Who's that man laying on the floor? I didn't even kill you. I got an apron, and that's what I wanted. Medicine. See? Fucking wounded. I'm out of lockpicks, again. But yeah, did I say thanks to good old cigarette chair there for his beautiful, beautiful super chat. An absolute legend. Absolute gaming. How are we all doing anyway? What's, what's new? <sighs> Alexios is the best Assassin's Creed. Don't even joke about that. It makes me sad. I just hate looting enemies because you never get what you want. But if you're looking for something, you won't get it. That's just... That is just the law. That is just that is just the rule that all games... If you're looking for something, it never shows up. That is just the game taking the piss. The game knows what you're looking for, and it goes, if you're lacking this, you know what? I'll reduce the chances or something that you'll find it. As a result, it's absurd sometimes. No, bro, you're wrong. Honestly, it's bad. People are allowed their own opinions. What's this fishy? No lockpicks. Indeed. People are allowed to like what they like. We don't we don't have the we don't have the right to police people's opinions on the game. That's not something I'm ever trying to do. I'm just expressing what I think and what I see and what I perceive. Sure, if you if you like if you like a vacant game, then Odyssey's for you, you know? But if you if you don't, it's not. That's the point. Like the game is vacant, factually speaking. There's nothing. It's, 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 it's a, lacks much substance, but to some people that might be all it needs to be, and to those people we have to let them like the game. It's it's odd what we can and can't do. Valhalla will be what Odyssey never was. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that Valhalla is just what Odyssey could never be. What it's what Odyssey wasn't, which is. An Assassin's Creed RPG, the Assassin's Creed RPG, if you know what I mean. Well, I don't think that we've 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 seen enough of Assassin's Creed in the RPG genre to know whether or not it actually works. All we've seen is Assassin's Creed Origins, which is kind of a light RPG, if you will, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which isn't Assassin's Creed, and is a vacant bland RPG in concept that is executed in a sense where it's not an RPG. It's RPG elements in a game that's just blatantly 
not immersive. That's what Assassin's Creed Odyssey is to me. You know what I mean. But there's, there's nothing wrong with liking Odyssey, but if you like it and enjoy playing it, good for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't want to alienate people from, from watching because they like a different game to me. They like a game that I don't. That's that's fine. That's that's cool. But what I just I'm just here to state it how it is. The game is vacant. It's tasteless. It's completely basic. And if you like basic sort of games and you know you enjoyed that, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you enjoy this one. Maybe you enjoy sophisticated games too. Maybe you see maybe you see this game for what it is better than I do. You never know. <laughs> I mean, I just can't, from where I'm sitting after playing Assassin's Creed for so long, I can't sit here and pretend that I like it. Odyssey, I just can't, because in the end of the day, I don't, and I feel like I owe it to myself, and I owe it to the franchise that I've loved since 2000 and whenever it was again, 2007 or whenever I started playing Assassin's Creed, I started with the first one, I just don't think it was right away, um, I owe it to myself to, um, and I owe it to the franchise to be honest, and to say what's wrong with it. That's all I do. But that doesn't mean that people can't like it. Because they can. Guys, make sure to follow Fishy on OnlyFans. Oh yeah, absolutely do. Speaking of OnlyFans, if you want to check out my social media, that's, that's where you need to look. Over there. Plenty of social media there. Sorry about that. Follow all that social media, it's beautiful. And I'm, I'm always happy to communicate with people. And I like people seeing the stuff over there, it boosts my ego, so. You know it is. Odyssey is maybe the only Assassin's Creed I don't like. I mean, Odyssey is the only Assassin's Creed game that I can genuinely sit here and say that I don't just dislike it, I hate it. Like, no other Assassin's Creed game do I hate. Like, pure hate. Odyssey is the only one. Everything else, I don't necessarily like all of them per se, but it's not like it's not like a strong hatred or anything. It's not something that I can't... It's not something that I can't... can't respect, if you get me. I don't know why I threw two smoke bombs down there. Make an OnlyFans account. What do you think I'm going to put on it? Pictures of my dog? I mean, come on. What? What? <laughs> Let's get the likes up, though. That'd be great. Let's get to 300... 300 scratch out. 350. Let's go for that. Let's, let's try our best. We can do it. I mean, I know we can because I am me. I'm really cool. Will you do a live reaction on Thursday? I don't know. Do you like Breath of the Wild? I haven't played it. Unfortunately, I haven't played it yet. Ugh. I'll tell you what, though. I have had another long day. I'm always having long days, me. That's underground, which means that I cannot be harsed. Now, we can go and do this, and then we can do the main mission, I think. Man slapping his mate. Slash. Fishy, follow me on Pornhub. Absolutely. Why is it lagging? It shouldn't be lagging. It should be fine. I love murder. It makes me feel so good in the mornings. How's the Witcher video going, Ethan? I've got a script drafted out. I've got a few parts left to do on that, but recording footage-wise, it's going good, and because my video is nowhere near as big as James's is going to be, I'm quite content with my progress. Like, at the moment, I'm up to Novigrad with the recording. 
I've got to play through the entire game. I've got to do it. And obviously, I'm, obviously I'm not necessarily as sure I'll need to do it. all the side quests. Only enough to elaborate my points. Because I know James is going to tackle it from a retrospective um, sort of way. Whereas I'm going to tackle it from just a video essay sort of way. And I feel like um, while well, James's video is going to be a lot longer, mine's... I hope it has just as much to offer. But then again, I don't have his... Um, I don't have his... What's it called? Editing skills. I forget. Pfft. After Effects editing skills. But I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to say that I'm, I'm doing my best, you know? What's going on with the combat? Come on, let me kill the man. I killed him just because. Have you played Monster Hunter World? Thoughts? I haven't played Monster Hunter World. There was a time where I was going to, but it was oh, a couple of years ago. Well, whenever Monster Hunter World came out, it was when I wanted to, and then I just don't. Then I just didn't. I just didn't play it. Did I? Did I not get that? Oh my god. I climbed up that. Do co-op. Lol, combat 10 out of 10. And people praise Unity's combat. <laughs> so don't forget to leave a like on the stream. Let's get to 400. That would be awesome. Share with your friends. Hit subscribe if you're new. And die. That's what we like. The reason I'm doing that is because now we can upgrade. Now we can purchase some beautiful gear. Eventually. Climb the wall, Arno. Unresponsive gameplay. That's another reason among the many why Assassin's Creed Unity struggles to struggles to reach its potential. Your notoriety will increase. You can't just kill people silly nilly. You don't have a notoriety system in Unity as far as I'm aware. Why don't you like Odyssey? Fishy, don't get me started. I don't just dislike Odyssey, I blatantly hate it. You'll be reinforced before the master arrives. We'll post snipers on the roofs. The I've been on I've sorry, I've been subscribed to you since 2016. I was just wondering if you could give any pointers for starting a YouTube channel. Enjoy yourself. That's the main thing. Have fun. Love it. Find something that you love doing and do it. Them. And people will watch because they know that you're loving it. I think and they'll love it too. That's what I do. I like to create atmospheres in my Red Dead videos, for example, and I like I like anything with atmosphere. That's what I enjoy. It's something that I enjoyed about the old Assassin's Creed games, is it felt like they had a lot of atmosphere, and that's what I like. So that's how I built an audience. Become anonymous to pick up the piece of paper. Oh, how I love gaming. This is game logic at its finest. step of the way. They couldn't have made it easier if they'd tried. Got you now. Wait in a haystack. Does it have to be a haystack? What do you mean become anonymous to use the bloody... Just cut the fucking thing. It's not hard. Is it? I mean, what's that? Whoa. 
What's going on? A few of the groundskeepers heard more than they should have. They're hiding in the catacombs. So the master's bodyguards have to dig them out. Seems excessive. Let's wait. I love it when the target comes to me. Classic Arno. I love sitting in haystacks. It's not like Arno's speaking from experience at this point. Let's get to 400, eh? That'd be good. Well, then they love their dialogue. The wealth spoken gentleman, sorry. Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, show your friends, hit subscribe if you knew that, that'd be wonderful. Let's get to 400. It is that The man. truth is in peril, my brothers. She is beset on all quarters. Jacobins lay her on the rack, cruelly breaking her to their populist agenda. <sighs> okay. False prophets go among the people promising liberty, equality, fraternity. Bastards within our own order. False brothers would see us abandon her and throw in with the very forces we strive against. Should I get unity or wait until Valhalla? I mean, <gasps> do what you want. Oh my god. Oh dear. It's fine, don't worry about it. We got this done. I just realized there's a double meaning for unity in the in the title. It's the co-op, and there's also the assassins and Templars are trying to. Well, the Grand Masters of these orders are trying are trying to figure it out, civilized, and they're like, no. And so it doesn't work out quite so well. Right? Okay. Fuck me. I Oh dear. Watch them be able to shoot me through buildings. Okay, how you doing up there, mate? Having a good time? That's what we like. See that? Glorious. Okay. Okay then, Unity. Okay. Oh. Gaming is about to occur. Initiate Bishop here. You're Bishop. in good shape so far. I'd like to give you a little boost. We've made a major breakthrough on our side. Through deep data analysis, we've discovered that the sage we're looking for was a Templar Grandmaster, the same man Arno was hunting. It doesn't get much better than that. There, everything's been updated. Use them wisely. We'll be in touch. Useful. Roll recovery is useful. Uh, what else can we? What? 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 Yeah. What, what can we invest in? Otherwise, bombs, money, power. Which we don't need that. But I'll never use it. So what's the point? And this is melee staggering strike. Let's get that done. Do you like The Witcher Three? Because I honestly don't see the hype. Well. Once I got that video out, maybe it'll explain it a bit better than I could here. But the reason why I like it is because it has a good story and, it, and it's got good side quests and it meets them with consistent quality. It doesn't go, this is the story, so it's going to be a higher quality than the rest. It goes, 
the side content's going to be a similar quality. Everything's going to feel like a story. And it all feels natural. Because, at times, you can't tell what's main story and what's side quest. It tells you in the menus, of course. But if you, if you just play the game, if you just play the game aimlessly, you don't know whether you're doing the main story or the side content because it's all just that good. What? Is, okay. It all feels natural. Yeah. I also like the Witcher universe. It has a great atmosphere. And I feel like that's another key uh, thing as well. What are your thoughts on Viking Settlement in Valhalla? Uh, I like that idea as well. I think that immersion features are huge in any RPG. I feel like if Assassin's Creed Valhalla has those immersion, fe immersion features, it's, it's kind of key. Why can't I get out of the haystack? Took your sweet time, Arno. Please be respectful to all religions. I do my best. We're an advanced soldier now, by the way. For those who haven't noticed, we're an advanced man. And we're also rank. Also. Rank four star thing. Don't worry, he's dead. He can't tell anyone about me. Is it alright to skip both Origins and Odyssey and play Valhalla instead? If do what you want. I mean, I would personally play Origins. I would skip Odyssey 100%, but. I'd play Origins, me. And. But I don't think that the stories are going to be too related. The modern day doesn't make any sense anyway. Don't worry about that shit. But the story itself will be self-contained in the historical part anyway, won't it? So it doesn't really matter. You do rap battle after assassinations. Imagine that. Oh, that would be beautiful. It's not exactly a Viking rap battle. That's a really bad explanation on Ubisoft's part. What it is, what flighting is, is it's like an insult match. So I think it's going to be the little mini game feature. It's going to find a way to keep you on on top of your game. But any any game with immersion features is instantly appealing to me when it comes to RPGs as a genre. If it goes, oh, you can do this because it's immersive. I love how everyone has a British accent despite it being France. Oh, some of the accents are outright West Country, and that makes me really that makes me laugh. Like, Balek is from the colonies originally, so he's, like, from, like, Canada regions. And he's got, like, a West Country accent to, to let you know that he's from elsewhere. Don't worry, they didn't even know I was here. None of them knew. People in the chat shut up. Why would... No, that's what the chat's for, to talk to each other. Surely you can appreciate that. Where do those bodies even come from? I mean, where was I fighting them? I've forgotten. I was going to go and loot them, but okay. Let's see what we can get. Characters, because we got 30, 30 grand all of a sudden. Burning a hole in our pocket, like, you know. Royal Cutlass. You know what? Don't mind if I do. Play online, please. I feel like it'll be counterproductive for the fact that this is a playthrough. I'm going to play the Final Fantasy 7 remake anytime soon. I mean, may, uh, would you like me to? That's a good question. Would you like me to play that? Because if, if, if you guys want me to play that, then I'll happily give it a go. Because I've never played Final Fantasy before. All I know is that the stories are all like self-contained sort of things. So in theory, I could just do it. Tell me if I'm wrong there. I'm sure I am. But Pete, you can tell me. Oh, 
Everyone was not using their brain today. That's a man stabbed in the face. Have you read any of the Witcher books? I haven't actually, to be fair. I think I think I'd like to. <laughs> Since they had fishing in Valhalla, I hope. Yeah, the whale hunting from Black Flag, it was so fun. I'm not sure where you expect to find whales, but... Okay. In lakes and things? I guess you're not the sea around. Maybe sometimes. I mean, whales... These days, you don't really find them around the waters in in UK area. Though, to be fair, that's not explicitly true. I don't even know what those are, to be honest. Ever played Prince of Persia? Uh, I've played a couple of the Prince of Persia games. Not too extensively. I didn't really manage to finish any. See what you did there? Do you like the Far Cry games? Ah, the way. See, where are you going to find whales in the UK? Ah. Whales are everywhere. Whales are on the streets. Whales is in Wales. Complete the missions to get Thomas's armor. Ah, uh, yeah. See, that's something I don't care about, unfortunately. I guess that's. I guess that's something we'll live without. Let's go get that. I know what I'm doing is just, just feels like I'm dossing, but it does have a purpose. It's going to make the rest of the game a lot easier for us if we do this early. Gavin should ha make a special appearance in Valhalla. Why would they do that? I just want I just want you to answer that question. And it's hard for I see Valhalla. <laughs> ah, you're funny. I mean, read the room. <laughs> everyone's talking about Valhalla, so maybe nobody's hyped. Nah, everyone's everyone's a little bit excited inside. Hello, it is me. I'm talking about the Otso Berg cutscene. Who's hyped for Cyberpunk? Oh fuck yes. Love me a bit of Cyberpunk. Now, I need to go so I need to go down there to say hi to my dad Mirabo, the absolute father of understanding within the Assassin Brotherhood, which makes no sense, but I said it because I want to make people very sad. Top five loading screens in Assassin's Creed. Number five. Number four. <laughs> Number three. Chat is moving fast, is it? It's moving quite slow for me. But then again, I'm literally seeing things in slow motion today because I'm that I'm that cool and old. Now, let's go see our boy Mirabeau. The... Fucky the Ducky is my favourite character in Assassin's Creed, pal. These three men are identical, besides from that guy's hat. How disappointing is it that that guy's not got the same hat? That's underwhelming. Hey, they've got different faces as well. But they've all got the same sword and the same attire other than the bloody hat. <sighs> I 
let's slide under this. Can we do it? Yes, we can. That was satisfying. See, when Unity works, it is incredibly satisfying. But it's just about finding when Unity works. Protect civilians, my favourite pastime. I am the big man. Brother, relax. When brother is not relax, brother is on brother's side. Oh my god. There's a guy being spamming in that in the chat like a madman and the moderators have all pounced on the man. One guy twice. Do you do a live stream of the Arkham series? Maybe I should. Maybe that would be a thing that we could do. Maybe I should do some gaming. Maybe I should um, game really advanced. Do some do some odd gaming techniques. Tell everyone about my favourite gaming colour. I love loading screens. I don't understand. Yeah, Ghost is being delayed, right? It's been delayed to July. Is that right? That's the last I checked. Got to prepare content if Valhalla disappoints. Well, I'll still make content whether it disappoints or not. Sorry, disappoints. I'll still be able to do that. Armed nobleman honorary. If it weren't for General Lafayette. Enough. That's the guy from um, the is bombed, three, Lafette. All hot air and no action. Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named La Frenière. Sure, certainly. And Master de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur La Frenière. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispa? I had a lead on La Frenière. I followed it, and I killed him. What the hell are you taking? How dare you defy the three? Next time you strike him in the council, I'll give you a new arsehole. While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever La Frenière was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Gio. Ah. Uh, <laughs> go then. See what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hmm? Yes, mentor. Good old gaming. It's what we like. Play the DLC after. <laughs> Yeah, imagine if I didn't play Dead, Dead Kings after, it would feel horrid. Dead Kings is very much so an important deed. Johanny Otso Berg's ancestor was a Viking. Could it be related to AC Valhalla? Cheer, my friend. It's, um, I mean, we don't know. We won't know. Obviously, that's the suggestion. That They've had the idea for a while. That's why they mentioned it in Otso Berg. Um, 
But Otto Berg's ancestor that he mentions in Rogue was a hundred odd years before the setting of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which makes me think that it might not be relevant. That that was just them snowballing an idea at that time, whereas now it's a bit, you know what I mean. I think I made my point anyway. When I only when I got kicked out of the Creed, it looks like they couldn't handle the the neutron style. The reason why Arno was kicked out is because he he was he was following his own agenda as well. The Brotherhood knew it. How do you always have a ton of money? Well, that's because I've been running around doing bits. Gotta go. See you all later. Five fish. You're up. Take it easy, gamer. Gamer, gamer, gaming, gaming. Let's get to 500 likes. That'd be cool. 500 likes is the goal. Let's do it in. I think we can smash it. It'll be beautiful. It will be beautiful. We'll love it. We will. 500 whole likes. Imagine the fucking streams. It'd be beautiful. I don't know how many likes we got on the last stream. I want to have a look. If you start hearing an ad, I'm sorry. 662. Can we smash that? Can we can we get past that? Can we get more than six hundred and sixty-two? Because that's what we got last last stream. <sighs> See, if you haven't hit like, I'd really appreciate it. Or you could share with your friends. That that that'd also be very nice. And other than that. Just watching is enough support for me, so I appreciate you guys, don't worry. It's your fab colour, I don't know man. Gamer is my favourite colour. Easy enough. Is Otso Berg alive? Yeah, he just got stabbed. That's all. In the... Through the spine. Doesn't make perfect sense. I thought he was doing his bits and all that, but whatever. Oh no, this. This is the place. What was Lafreniere The lighting so is horrid. In? in this game, the lighting bugs out and it's horrid. Get him upstairs, quickly. Oh no, it's... Latouche. Latouche face. You do get about, don't you? Oh my god, he's got a cock on his face. It's Latouche. That's what I wanted you to do. Well done, Arno. The absolute genius of the craft, Arno. It's fine, don't worry. Latouches. What happened to the guy, the dude, and... What happens the guy that in the life pod, the one with the first Civ genes? I don't really. Re Sorry, do you mean. Do you mean. You mean the one. F do you mean. You mean the sage, John? From Black Flag. Well, he's dead, isn't he? They're just dissecting his body. I never really thought much more about that. Or do you mean the first Civ um, body that they're trying to recreate in the end of Syndicate? We should make a DLC travelling to America for the Vikings. They could do. Well, that's. The, the DLC does. Um, according to the season pass and what it says about that, it does appear to be promising. Kill them both, you fucking clown. Oh my god. Um, I have the double assassination unlocked and it doesn't even work when there's two guards. No, I I mean, it does promise new lands and what they say about the season pass on the on the site, so I assume there's always the, po the possibility of... Um,
of new lands like that. What's that supposed to be? It's important that we do this. Wasn't Avil where the hidden blade like bio can alter? Yeah. According to Ashraf, his melts because um, he thinks it's a fucking awesome weapon and decides that everyone should see it. That's the explanation he gives. Now, as much as I don't necessarily understand it, I guess that's good enough for me. We'll get the full explanation in the game, I'm sure. Look at all these men who are dead. Unworthy of death under Tiberius to praise Brutus. Caligula condemned to death those who were so sacrilegious as to undress before the image of the Emperor. Once tyranny invented the cry of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic. Who could have dared to think? Who is this? That seems convenient. Well, that's the thing about assassins. They point them at a Templar conspiracy and they ask no questions. Speaking of assassins. I would have really laughed had, it, had the Latouche gone. Speaking of Templar, sorry, speaking of assassins and Templar conspiracies, now's the part where he walks up the stairs, isn't it? Bastard. Right, well, he's going to investigate, so let's, uh. Let me in the hiding spot, eh? Look at that gentleman up there, poor bloke. He's going to have a good time. Let's get to 600 likes if we can, that'd be cool. Come on, Latouche, keep mooching. Did say he was going to investigate. If I killed Latouche right now, everything would be fine. For a moment there, Latouche unbecame my target. There's that bloke. You finished? Near enough. Now here's the thing. I can go on like this all day. But you, you've got an hour left in you, two at the most. Ah, if I bring out the sharp bits. So why not skip the end game and go directly to me? Tell me where it is, and all this can be over. What was that? You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. You heard the weasel boys? Did you 
you really throw him out the window? Crashed and launched in the gutter. Slop. Someone might have seen. Who? My boys are watching the whole thing. They'll deal with any stupid Samaritan. Take that. The grandmaster won't be happy if the whole plan comes on round. I assume a basement is as good a place as any to hide to spy on a meeting. It's my um, it's my gen general impression. Patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer, so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sibert and La Wadetu. Oh, Sibert and La Wadetu already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the De La Sur brat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on our way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins. I love how all the windows are suddenly shut. Right. Yep. Whew. Well, that was game, and this man is breathing fire just because he thinks he's cool. But in the reality, he's a cock. He should. He should definitely not be a cock. Now, where on earth is the next mission? I can't even see it on this cluster fuck of nothing. Is it in the southern part of the map that we haven't been to yet? No, it's not. Okay. I guess it's not there yet. Oh, it is there. It's this way. So that way is... Is there a way we can see what direction we're going in? There it is. Really hard to see. Top right. Not a fan of the Unity map. There's no. It's really hard to see anything. <sighs> the map is brighter than my future. What I find really funny is around water areas, you get green bits that shouldn't be there. The map is incredibly unpolished, and that's weird. Unity is great without the patches, that's why in the map the water is green. This is not France, this is France, not America. Gaming is for me. In a bit, gamers.
Am I the right level for this? Yeah. I'm more than the right level for this. I am beyond ready. France has the best baguettes. I wonder why. Let's get the likes up though, shall we? Let's get to 600, that's the goal. Find Elise. Fisher, do you still hate Unity? Uh, no, not really. It's not the best game ever. It's an incredibly unpolished game and it struggles a lot, but it's not that bad. Just exists. Okay. Get the bastard. Oh no. Fight him. I love when he just stands still and does nothing, even though you've put in an input. What's wrong? I'm not sure how to get out of here. I'll climb up and take a look. We love a good maze, we do. Just admit it. You're lost. Oh, I've got it. They can't have gotten far. Now they'll get away. I'm not lost, I'm in the middle of a fight. Not so difficult. There's a lot of guys that needed to die. Okay. There we go. Two of them up ahead. I wish the block button worked, but it doesn't. Not half the time, anyway. Flask of rum, my favourite kind of rum. We're clear. There's a bigger group coming up there. Did you see a young woman come through here? No. Now this is gaming. 
snipers. I see them. Perhaps you can get a better angle from the roof. Yes. We're looking for a woman. Red. Oh. You're mine. Damn moderate. Oh wow. You can just tell that the game is suffering from being ridiculously unresponsive. On PlayStation it's no one well sorry, on PlayStation it's incredibly unresponsive by comparison to PC. For all the issues you get on PC, at least you get responsive gameplay. Ah, oh, Christ, really? Bro blinding white flashes? They can't have gone far. Find them! Go on. I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Cafe Theater. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. Maybe a little late. How does it take a day to fight? Got it! It doesn't even do the hold input, it doesn't read the hold input correctly. When you hold the button for a heavy attack, sometimes it does a light attack anyway. I pressed the block button, then it didn't respond. Tailored medieval hood, oh yes. About a... right, let's get to 600 likes. That'd be cool. We're, we're, 30, we're 30, 31 away? Yeah. Easy enough. So if I look at my inventory. Taylor Medieval Hood. I don't know, I kind I kind of fancy it a little bit. It looks like fun. Uh, you know, I'm not too adverse to that. I think we're going to have to look at some colours, though. Oh, that would be just sick, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that just be bloody awesome? That's cool enough. But... Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. You know, I like that a lot. I think we've just found. I don't think we've just stumbled upon something that looks l lovely and good. <sighs> you staggering strike in combat. That's the point. How do you use st staggering strike? I'll check it. Don't tell me. I'll check it. Long weapon master. What is this? Uh, hold that to perform. Maybe I'd use that. But I don't see what good it's going to be against loads of enemies. Cigarette chair. So I forgot that in Unity 1 online mission you can get 70k if you do it right. Just downloaded it and forgot I had 7 mil of Is that enough? I guess. It's a lot of money to get from one mission, to be fair. Although restocking, all it does is restock your medicine. The medicine is incredibly expensive in this game, especially towards the end. It's absurd. It just gets absurd. It took me forever to hit the ground. But cheers for the super chat, so you're at chair. I really do appreciate it. Please don't mind me. 
It's all gaming. Let's get to 600 likes. We're like 11 away. That'd be cool. Assassin's Creed swimming. I beg mum which your stream soon. Maybe, you know. It's not a bad idea. Raise, a, raise your hand if you hugged your chair. You can't see me raising my hand, but I promise I'm doing it. I really am. My hand's up there. It's fine. It's not exactly a tomorrow moment, is it? But okay. Cautious Alliance. Is that in the background? Hello. Sorry, what was that in the background? Like, good evening, hello, as always. Um, welcome back in tonight. I want to talk. I'm here with Madame Leclerc, and we're going to talk about capital punishment. What the fuck? How have I only just heard that now? Seems you've been busy tracking down the man who killed your father. Yes, best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. You trust me. I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the roar first. Offer may be a bit strong. The Brotherhood have manpower. Sexist, I know. What is playing in the background? I don't know. I think it's part of the cutscene. There's nothing in the background here. Like on that came from the game. That let's talk about capital punishment. And honestly, I've never heard that. That was just so well timed. Is that bloody Templar? What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, seventy-three steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell have you done this time, pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, I love that. Mirabeau's like, what the fuck are you doing? Just take the blindfold off. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask... 
Fuck off, Elise. I want to slap her. Okay. It's just polite. Continue. Look for your help. Must we rehash this debate again? We must. And we will, Master Kimma. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Thrustward Lasser's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle Blesser. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parlay, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse. It's a trick to make us lower our guard. If I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Blesser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. How are you, friend? Yeah, I kind of like what I've done with the, the medieval hood there. I like that. It's cool. Hi, I'm here. It's me, Ponks. It's Ponks, the Ponk. Captain Ponk. What is up with real time analytics on live streams now? Like, with your concurrent viewers and things, like, it just drops off at points and then just changes all the time. Hard to, hard to tell how analytically the stream is doing. It's just. Keeps messing with you. Which is funny, but it's fine. That went about as well as I expected. Give it time. What you know about will talk them around. Exactly Do you really think we'll find him? Answer After all this question. time. This is not quite last forever. Francois Germain is on the eve left on the air. Francois Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on the Rue Saint Antoine. But why? What the? Elise? She's just run off. She's really fast. What are you doing? Wait for me. It's not like it's not like she she needs to wait for you. You're right there. Crazy man. Where are you going? Running through the streets. See, it's not hard to follow Elise, just follow the trail of red hair. What was that about? Oh no. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? <laughs> I would very much like to ask him That's not questions. a bad line. So he died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? That's that I like that a lot. Oh my god, what is that woman doing? Jesus. Ah no, this is gaming. I'm here to talk. It's me, erected gamer gaming. HD gameplays and gaming. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. Let's go. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. It needs. Don't tell me. It's a trap. Oh. 
excuse me, fucking what? Sorry, what desynchronized me then? So t away from Ty like for too long. Unity is the best game ever made after the. It just randomly failed me in the middle of a mission. Maybe I have to stay in the room. And the game just has an absurd way of not knowing when you're not there. Well, that was bracing. You're right next to Elise like as well, in indeed. A bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Arno is a fucking simp. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. The the, the noise Arno. echo when inside Look. is so odd with voices. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau. As soon as the game's better than Odyssey. I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down. See them. The windows across the street. Watch out. That's it. But done. How many ability points do we have? This is Bishop. Do you copy? I wish I could. work out there. You found him. Francois Thomas Germain, Grandmaster of the Templars and a sage. Germain. That's the second sage to rise to the Templars' highest rank. Troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain. The second. With Arno, he might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead to his body. Bishop out. How many skill points do we have? Six. Francois Thomas Germain. There's something I wanted to get, but I don't know. Ah, it's that. Francois Thomas Germain. Oh god, I love the disorienting stun grenades. Really good on the eyes, you know what I mean? Move. I love when the combat doesn't respond at all. So fucking absurd. You can tell that I'm having a real like a like an input response issue with this game. If Valhalla feels like Unity Combat but polished, I feel hard. What, what what's polished Unity Combat? The same combat, but it actually responds. That'd be alright, wouldn't it? 
No, this is the part where nobody has medicine on them. Ah, oh, shit. Why did I have to... Why did I not wait? This isn't that hard. It's me, Francois Thomas Germain. No, let's um, have medicine on you. Are oh, you disgusting man? Right, let's find some medicine somewhere. Let's waste two point five grand on medicine. Let's go. How far are in are we? We're doing okay. We're It's me, Francois Thomas Germain. Sorry, I always just take the piss out of that name. I don't know why. It's a new thing. Also, if you pay attention, you'll notice that Pierre Belek sounds like Blackbeard. I only just noticed that. Is it the same guy? It can't be. Why do they sound the same? Pierre Blackbeard Belek. Why haven't I then just noticed that? I just found your videos yesterday. Well, I hope you enjoyed the content. I'm really glad that you found them. I hope they're uh, of some use to you. Yes, climb on that. That's what I want you to do. No HUD. Why would I want to suffer? Nearly, but fuck it. We're not going to bother. No, I want to loot the corpses. If you disable HUD and Unity, you're gonna have a fucking nightmare. <sighs> I can just fast travel to the Cafe Theatre. I didn't even realise. Cafe Theatre or whatever. Or Cafe Theatre, however you wanna say it. I'm gonna say Cafe Theatre because I'm boring and British. Hi mods, how long has the stream been? Oh, I just had a fart, you're welcome. Uh, how long's the stream been going on? Um, well, the mods don't need to answer that question. I can tell you, one hour, 43 minutes. And the mod told you to. I'm going now, half past midnight. Hello. Let's get to 600 and, well, yeah. Let's get to 700 likes, actually. That'll be a good number. I've decided. Criminals are not welcome in my ends. Slap them up. I'll tell you what I'm going to do before we continue. I'm going to nip to the loo, so I'm going to put the BRB screen up. Follow all that social media and all that shit. Let's do that. Um, that would be much appreciated. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back before you even know it. Well, of course you'll know it because you know I'm gone. But it's fine.
Well, that was a wasted trip. The bathroom is occupied and will probably be occupied for the next six hours. <sighs> right. I'll go in a minute. It's no worries. Speak to Mirabeau. Yes. I Yes, that, that did sound an awful lot like jump out the window to me too, Arno. Would you recommend buying anything in 2020? I don't know, man. Up to you. Elise. What is this? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course you're right. What are we going to do? Just completing the campaign. I'm doing what I feel I would. I spent the first, like, 40 minutes of this video just doing assassination contracts that were part of the bloody companion app, and then they scrapped it. Mirabeau is dead. Let's get to 700 likes, that'd be cool. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. No, this is how they introduce you to the murder mystery thing. You saw no one else when you arrived. Just the butler. He let me in, but he never came upstairs. But he was here before you. Did you see any other servants? No. No one else. See, so first, but there's no way he would not have brothers come upstairs. Oh, this is gaming. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kamar. Handkerchief. Ladies handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. It is me, Captain Poe. Downstairs we must trot. Yes, sir. Have you been here all day? No, sir. I arrived at four to see to this week's delivery of wine. Anyone else arrived since then? Only the young lady with the red hair, sir. She went straight away to the master's study. And you haven't been upstairs? The weekly wine delivery is quite extensive, sir. I see. Thank you for your time. Ask him about the handkerchief. Sir? Do you recognize this handkerchief? Hmm. Oh, yes, sir. It belongs to Emily. Emily? The maid. I'm given to understand she saved up her wages for a month to purchase it. It made her feel like a lady, she told me. And where is Emily now? At the market, sir. Thank you. Of course, sir. There's one last thing to investigate up here. Doesn't look like it was forced. So the killer was expected? A guest, perhaps? Or a servant? Poison. Let me see that. night hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for popular with templars is it 
with anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Okay, investigate the crime. I can accuse Elise, but I don't really want to be doing that. Let's go speak to Master Kamer. What's going on in chat? Let's get the likes to 700 though, please. That would be cool. Should do a no HUD challenge one of these days. Yeah, but... Hmm. I shouldn't. I don't think that's for me. Monsieur Dorian, what can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course. But I do know of an apothecary in Lamare who's willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. I can accuse Master Kmar, but that's not who did it, is it? We all know who did it. You don't even need telling. Because we've all played Unity before. Why don't you use a face cam? It takes up too much space on the screen. And in Assassin's Creed games especially, there's something going on in every fucking corner, so there's no real room for it. Also, it just doesn't work with Streamlabs, my webcam. I'd have to replace the webcam or I'd have to figure out why it doesn't work with Streamlabs. And I know which of those will be easier, but I know which is more expensive and I don't really want to do either. I just want a game in a simple form. I like having the I like the I like the rawness of it, if you will. Speak to the apothecary. Oh, he's right there, is he? Oh, he's not right there. There was... No, of course he's not. It's odd, because they have an apothecary down there, don't they? They have a guy who sells medicine and that. I don't know how you're supposed to do that one. I've never managed to do that in my life. Kill the messenger without being seen. The most annoying objective, because it never works no matter what you do. Obviously, it wouldn't have worked then because I was seen. But even if you do, if you even if you don't get seen, it doesn't doesn't quite work. Pierre Belend, cheers, Isaac Marnie. I appreciate that. I appreciate the super chat. Mystery active. I think I can handle a low. Okay. Here's the bit where. It... I wonder Shit. if you might have... Not again. Well played. Wait. Damn you. Come back here. 
Why are we in a fucking crypt? Oh no! Just gave away an advantage of movement you had there. Fucking moron. I just have a few questions. Doing my best here. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Go on then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? Oh, and I was like, for fuck's sake. Right, which direction am I supposed to be going in? I don't know, because it takes a moment for the fucking HUD to load back in. A long moment, might I add. Why the fuck does Black? Why the fuck does Black even wear a hood? To be fair, I could probably nip to the loo now, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, now I'm gonna sort myself out. Don't worry, I won't be long. I'll be. Good and hands are not be some washed. Oh, feels better. Sorry about that. I had to be done. I'm afraid. <laughs> what are you planning? You 
It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, guards. I didn't kill that man. I only killed that man. fuck is that chest? Oh, it's upper level. Of course there's a window there that... Yep. Okay. Don't let me down now. Ah. Oh, bastard. We'll buy some more lockpicks while we're here, why not? We'll use that money to buy the three lockpicks that we can afford in this game's steep economy. Though to be fair, it's not that steep. No, it is 150 big old francs though. We didn't start the fire, what's that about starting the fire? That was in range, for fuck's sake. Oh, that's a man now, berserk. That's all fuck. Look at all the crowd poppins, that man is loving life. I better do that. I see guards and I just press buttons that kill. I just do. It's fine, don't worry. If you asked for luck, you would have said Arno and Mirabeau had defected from the Brotherhood by wanting to side with the Templars. But like didn't defect, what? He's just, he's, he's very much so an, um... He's very much so an example of a, of an extremist within the Brotherhood. I feel like that's um, a point. Like Pierre Belek is a very extreme sort of guy. His ideologies are very extreme. But even still. He just, he believes, he believes that peace isn't possible, basically, I guess. What do you hope to find here? I like how someone just said this arsehole in the chat. He says he delivered the poison. I'm hoping I can pick up a trail and follow it back to the source. Pick up a trail. Are you a bloodhound now? Something like that. Yeah. <sighs>
trail ends here. Are you sure? I'm sure. No. Wait here. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not letting you go in there alone. Elise. I have to do this myself. Please. Someone said arsehole in the chat. Someone said, not someone say. Will Fishy do heist mission alone? Maybe. God knows. Let's get to 750 likes. That'll be cool. You better come back to me. Find the murderer. It's a rather small thing to kill over, to be fair. Belek. Took you long enough, piss pot. Belek. Should have known if he knew you'd find me. Only question is, what happens now? You poisoned Mirabeau. He poisoned us. Peace with the Templars is a fairy tale. And you're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? You think it's the first time this has happened? The first time that the assassins have been forced to purge their leadership. The first time that the order has built itself back up from nothing to power. No. Masyaf, Montericcioni, the American colonies. It's all happened before. And we have risen anew, stronger than ever. But now, we've lost our purpose, Arno. We mired ourselves in politics and revolutions, but we're not a nation. Akshay Prashant, will Arno ever have a girlfriend? I mean, you yeah, can play his genetic memories, so yeah, they either took it from his body, or he did reproduce. Treason. No, I'm not the only one that can save the Brotherhood. We can. Together. Alec. You know I can't do that. That's a pity. Belek, please, come back to the council with me. We can resolve this like reasonable men. Reasonable men don't treat with terror. Okay, now he starts in. It's a rather cinematic fight, to be fair. Uh, you're a stubborn little fuck, aren't you? Ask anyone. Well, I did, pr I did. I was pressing the button, man. How hard do you want me to press the button? Then? Is it my thumbs hurt? Yeah, why are you putting your sword away, Arno? Just for the chance of killing one assassin. Tell me, in your vast experience, what have you seen? I 
have seen the Grand Master of the Templar Order take in a frightened orphan and raise him as his own son. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Why is it a spam circle <laughs> every single time? What is the point? Oh no! I'm fine. Stay there. Phantom Blade active. As he disappeared to. Protégé vouches for her. Don't you trust him? With my life, it's the girl I don't trust. Nothing I can say to convince you. I'm afraid not. Thought not. Huh? Chin. Chin. I pause on this. To be fair, Mirabeau should have been a bit more wise to that one. Good old, good old gaming. Ripper King. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not that. Bloody hell, fuck. Sorry to interrupt, you know, what was quite a poignant moment, but we've got more trouble. Bishop, are you there? I hear it. You know what to do. Opening a bridge now. You know, Deacon, I think if Sergo were so riled up about your job last month. Oh, you don't say. Okay, the bridge is open. 
Go. You can't snoop around and start with data without ruffling a few feathers, right? Well, we just snoop, did we? We stole that. What do we just equip? So what do we get? Tailored prowler coat. Even though we've got the cool improved prowler coat. Is it Arno's tailored coat, which is pretty cool. Now if we upgrade it, what would it look like? Still wanker than what we've got on for now. Data, destroy their precursor samples and uh, what else? Oh yeah, we melted a few of their servers. That'll do it. We'll come in handy later. So it's not a problem. Because I, I like to equip Arno's like defaultish looking robes for a lot of the time because they look so smooth but it's not PC versions so you don't get that 60 frames and that smooth feel so I guess it doesn't matter so much see you on the other side Can you desync in these sections? I'll assume so. I'm not going to stick around and find out, though. If I'm going to be honest. Let's not be doing any of that. You aren't even using an Animus in uh, Syndicate and Unity, are you, really? Here we go again. Helix. Back inside a mess of broken code. This time, the portal is above you. A few hundred meters. World War Two. Oh, God. I fucking... Don't know why, but I'm not a fan of this section. Occupy Paris, 1944. We love it, we do. Okay, as before, you can't linger. Unfinished memories are way too dangerous. You need to find a way out. I guess I love being shot at by planes, my favourite part of Assassin's Creed. Oh no, what the fuck are you doing, mate? You think the Nazis are looking for good old Arno here? They're like, oh, we're looking for a man named Arno Gamer. We're gaming right now. Doing okay. Please tell me, oh, there's a ladder there. That'll be why. Fly around, gamer. We are on a Zeppelin thing. Is that what they're called? 
I believe it is. A blimp. A blimp. A blimpy balloon. Not as stressful as I remember it being, to be fair. Whee! Hello! It may be. This tower is just huge, isn't it? The loving life up here. Oh shit. I knew it wouldn't be it. Die then, gamer. It is time to die. Time to explode, young Plankton. Oh, so tough. Right, now, up we go. Escape through the old portal, otherwise we'll be fucked. Let's not be fucked. What a horrible day it is to be fucked. I don't want to alarm you, but the portal is highly unstable. Damn it, it's gone. Keep going, we can reopen it. Do it. You'll have to jump. Oh, that went so bad. But we're out of there now. We did a we did a bit of one two jump, and then we jump. Everything was fine, and then we. Well, not. It is. It are gaming. That is what I just typed in the Discord. Join it, by the way. There's a link in the description. Okay, this loading screen is taking forever. Please, just don't give me another loading bar. Just don't hurry up. I've been sat on this loading screen for how long now? A minute? Hi, for sure. I love your videos. Cheers, Tom O'Brien. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you very much, gamer. You're a lovely gamer. It is... Oh, there we are. Um, voila. We're back. Thanks, DJ. 1792. Okay, well, I think that's the conclusion of today's stream. We've been going for two and a half hours nearly. I think it's time to wrap up. So thank you all for watching this stream. I hope you enjoyed. I'd like to give... Well, actually, first, be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, and all that wonderful stuff. That would be fantastic. I'd like to give special thanks to James Rostron, Lewis Hughes, Cigarette Chair, Mario5380, Dragon Flame, Gams, Nate Slade, Dylan Bryant, Isak Marnie, uh, Lil Tanuki Betch, and Akshay Prashant for your Super Chat donations. I'd like to give a thank you to the patrons as well. If you want to join that list of lovely people, then you can check it out via a link in the description. Um, and you can get your name up there. Some extra content, whether or not you think it's worth it, is completely up to you. 
If you want to check out the social media as well, then you can check this out from here. Um, and you can follow me on all those social platforms as well. But of course, until next time, I will catch you all very soon with another video or stream at some point. But until then, goodbye.